Hi, good morning, everyone. I came with uh, one more podcast. Um, this is about what work we are doing. What is my passion? So I want to mention that I never received any award from SAP or YouTube. Why did I mention these two? Because I'm making content on YouTube and the content 90% is 95% of the content is related to SAP. There may be five to 10% uh, which is related to generic supply chain management or interview guidance or generic uh, ideas or inputs based on my experience and if you are I'm uh, environment friendly so plantation those kind of videos would be available so I never received any award so for example let's take into SAP I'm not working for SAP officially but indirectly we are uh, helping SAP and we are getting benefited out of SAP it's like a win-to-win -win situation so, for example, what kind of uh, benefit I got from SAP? So you're all seeing from where I was born and uh, currently where I'm living. It may be for a few years, but how did I change my entire way of life? How did I transform from a village with a local medium or small schools to Today, we are uh, suggesting to a lot of people who had uh, completed their uh, graduation in uh, reputed universities. And uh, we are suggesting to the people who are highly successful and staying in different countries, uh, India and in some position. So we are able to give few words. They are, able, they are, receive, they are uh, sending email and, uh, or else they are reaching to me and asking for suggestions to change their career or to upgrade their career. So at least I'm able to uh, input certain things. These all happened just because of SAP. During my education, I used to think that um, I took few wrong decisions during my master and all. If you check uh, journey of Ganesh Padala to SAP consultant, you would listen and you would understand what exactly I explained about uh, few wrong decisions and how did they correct. So SAP, the biggest award, the biggest reward I received from SAP is the beautiful career. It's not just I'm growing, I'm helping my family or I'm helping my close people or I'm helping few orphanages. I'm doing plantation. These are all certain things, but 24 by seven sharing knowledge to thousands of people on YouTube, on Udemy. So people are coming and watching our videos without knowing me. I mentioned in a certain kind of videos, as of now, 400,000, 400,000 people watched our uh, YouTube videos and different platforms from 141 countries. But I met hardly around 150 people in my entire life. I don't know, I may meet 100 more or 200 more people. So these many people I'm able to share the knowledge and where did I get it? Just because of SAP. I was in a confusion about my career. So how to build my career? I studied a master's in chemistry, which I didn't enjoy. I got a job in paint, but I didn't see the proper future. But how did I transfer my career? We cannot give all these reasons to people, right? I was a, I got 100% marks in uh, mathematics, but I didn't do engineering or something. I didn't, my master's, I did in chemistry, but I'm not interested to work in the chemical field. See, all these reasons, uh, people get bored or people, there is no reason to, people can just show the sympathy or uh, people just maybe, oh, bad luck happened to you. So there is no use of those kind of words, right? So we need to transform. We need to find out how did I change? Like how to change my career? Okay, whatever happened, it's a mistake or uh, lack of guidance or whatever happened. But how to change my career that is in our hands, right? So SAP gave me the great platform to learn, to understand, to change my career. 2011, December, I started as an SAP consultant and today we are talking on 2024, May. So almost uh, 12 plus years, but I'm completely satisfied with the career. 
I will work as a consultant for a few more years and later I may do different things. But our videos will run for next 10 to 15 years. In the next one to two years, if I make more s videos and s will be available, I don't know, maybe 2040, 35. And the core concepts which I explain in our videos like um, procurement, standard procurement, consignment procurement, subcontracting procurement, third party procurement, service procurement, these business processes will be available for a long time irrespective of whether it is ECC SAP or s SAP. In s it's on-premise or cloud, private cloud, public cloud. But that core business processes will be available for a long time. There may be few things will be automated, few things will be eliminated, few things will be uh, little changes can happen. So the biggest award I received from SAP, this is the best career to change my life, to change my family's way of living and to change my way of thinking that we have to work till we die or else till 55 years to have a own house or to have a good life to my parents or to have a good life to my kid, my wife, my entire one. But SAP has changed that one within 10 years, whatever I dreamed for 50, 55 years was achieved. So the biggest award I received from SAP, the best career and financial settlement and enjoying the career, that is important. How much you get it if you are not enjoying every day, why I'm doing this job, so what is happening? If you are daily, if, if you are uh, feeling that kind of a frustration, then there is no use of a great salary if you get at the month end. So SAP, thanks to SAP, this is the biggest award I got from that uh, SAP. There is no direct award I received. That's why I put the statement like I never received any award. But I received the award indirectly in this way, awards and so the rewards. Your comments, your comments, your appreciations, the message that Ganesh, your videos helped me to crack this interview. Ganesh, your videos helped me to clear my uh, project interview. Ganesh, your videos helped me to do my job better. Ganesh, your videos helped me to grow. Ganesh, your videos helped me to change my career. So these kind of messages, these kind of appreciations are the best rewards for me always. They are motivating me since 2015. So what I'm doing for SAP. So of course that uh, in these nine years, I would have influenced few hundreds of people to do SAP certification, especially for the freshers, as per, for the people who are, want to change from the manufacturing or mechanical or uh, electrical service, different kind of domains to SAP. I used to educate them. I used to motivate them to do SAP certification so that at least I can post on LinkedIn for you. Or at least you can ask that one. I have four years of industry experience. I did certification in SAP material management. Please give an opportunity for me. I'm earning currently 5 lakh packages. I'm okay to work for 3, 3.5 also because I want to start my career in SAP. And my industry experience will be definitely helpful to understand how does the procurement process happen, how does inventory uh, is moving moving in the different departments and how we are utilizing. So these kind of things, I have a good knowledge. So my experience and the certification and whatever I learned outside and practicing, that will be uh, useful for you, uh, for the organization. And I'm not looking for any kind of... Uh, a high salary at the initial stage because I want to work, I want to learn, then the salary will follow us. The people who have this kind of attitude, they will definitely see the success. I'm sure you will see the success. So for SAP, I'm motivating people to learn, motivating people to do certification. And few people are uh, com coming to SAP uh, by inspiring or by watching our videos. So I'm doing my best for to SAP in my way. And uh, SAP has given me a great career. So this is the award I received from SAP. There is no direct physical award I represented to. Like uh, sometimes I used to think like I want to work with direct SAP as a, um, like uh, to share new SAP releases or to tell about SAP new certifications, but still I'm doing that from how to register for SAP certification, importance of SAP certification as a fresher. And when you are trying for any abroad openings, how does your certification add value? So these all these things I'm doing my best 
as a gratitude to SAP. So that is about the relation with SAP. What about YouTube? So YouTube also, I never received any award. I think most of the people YouTube, in case of SAP, you may not have much idea, but uh, YouTube, we are pretty, uh, see that from many people after starting YouTube channel within one year, within six months, they will come up with a silver button, bronze button, gold button, all these kind of uh, different buttons. The minimum uh, subscribers we need to get the button is 100,000 subscribers. I don't think in our entire life we may achieve or not. We may, but it's not sure. It took around nine years to reach this 54 to 55,000 of subscribers. So getting 45,000 more, that is in your hands. So I mentioned sometimes on our community that um, around 45,000 of unique viewers are watching our videos on our YouTube channel. In that 45,000, around uh, 23,000 have not yet subscribed. If these uh, new people are subscribing, then we may get in three years, four years, two years, or we may not touch you. But anyway, I don't have any expectation to reach that 100,000. So I'm happy with what subscribers we have and watch my videos and go through the playlist. Okay, you, I will keep the comment uh, where to download our entire um, playlist in a sequence as, as per these subtopics. You can watch it. So I never received any award from YouTube. Yes, we work with YouTube and uh, whatever that um, little ad revenue uh, YouTube also get from me and I'm also getting from YouTube because the companies who are paying to YouTube, we just share it. But that's very little as a principal, a senior consultant with 12 years of experience, even I mean abroad. So that's nothing, but that's only for our motivation. So YouTube is uh, giving me a good market thing. Like um, it is helping to reach Ganesh Padala to a lot of people. I get uh, messages on LinkedIn. They are 20 plus years, 25 years fewer delivery heads and fewer uh, entrepreneurs and a few are uh, completely subject matter experts. So why, why are they messaging? Not just that I'm a good WM consultant or MM consultant. There are tens of consultants who would be better than me. But why are they reaching? Because of the huge content sharing, huge knowledge sharing. Like I mentioned that one, as of now, we shared around 490,000 hours so even a professor who worked for 35 years in his entire career after retirement, he may teach, he might teach around 10,000 people in his entire life, how many hours of teaching he would have done it. But fortunately, God gave me this opportunity to teach 400,000 people for more than 490,000 hours. It's 10 years more than my years. So that's a, a great opportunity. So I'm always thankful for YouTube to motivate me. I never think about why I'm getting very less revenue, which is not even one day salary. If I think in that way, then I would have closed YouTube long back and this motivation I would be missing. In 2016, when I was missing back to back, uh, Switzerland, Belgium, Germany, these onset opportunities, YouTube is the one and you are the one who are inspired, who inspired me more because when I was uh, getting the fail or a project, we lost the project or uh, something happened or when I was not getting that opportunity, which I'm looking for. At that point of time, the message from a student, Ganesh, Ganesh sir, sir, Anna, I think these two words, I listen a lot from the people. I think 70 to 80 percent people may call sir, maybe 5 percent people will call me Ganesh. 10 to 15 percent people call me Anna. So these words I have been hearing for more than 10 years because I started in 2013, June, July to give started giving guidance. So uh, YouTube helped me a lot to motivate me to never think about um, salary, missing promotion, that one, whatever I miss, whatever I, it's completely uh, this passion has uh, overshadowed all these things. What generally people think, bonus, hike, all have gone. So only learning. My main investment is learning. How much I learn, plus that much content I can make it for YouTube or Udemy for the future. It can generate happiness. It can generate revenue. It can generate um, satisfaction. And mainly it generates respect. 
I was mentioning in a few days back one post, knowledge saves time, knowledge gives respect, knowledge um, gives a lot of opportunities and um, it makes, knowledge makes, uh, for, us, for example, if someone asks you, like um, whenever someone asking you a question, an SD consultant was asking some question or FA consultant was asking certain question, you're able to answer it. The respect will increase. And if you have a good knowledge, you will have a lot of uh, confidence while talking to client or while talking to your senior. So if you are increasing, if you are investing on your knowledge, the package will just follow you. You don't think too much about uh, uh, package, uh, some, uh, someone's hike and all. You just focus on your skill. If you are very strong, no company will leave you. If the company leaves, another company, you can get it because you have a skill. You don't have to hesitate about the interview. You don't have to worry about the interview because you are knowledgeable. So how to apply, how to express and how to explain what you have learned and what you're doing, that is important. So I never received any award from YouTube directly, not even a t-shirt, <laughs> whatever t-shirt I wear sometimes that I bought on my own and the cup or uh, whatever few customized t-shirts what you see that I made on my own. So I never received any single award from YouTube. But YouTube has given me a great, um, YouTube has given me a great platform to upload my videos, to share the knowledge with these many thousands of people. So what motivation, I think you understand according to the overall podcast. So what motivated me to do this for more than nine years? Because continuous learning is giving me an opportunities and uh, any people, like few colleagues may not uh, much feel that one, but any new MM team members or WM team members are joining our team. And uh, if I meet someone, that one, the respect is coming because of the knowledge sharing. So otherwise, I'm just a colleague, other person, right? Or what knowledge you have and all that secondary. Everybody is knowledgeable and everybody has their own uh, self-respect and all. So they don't uh, give too much importance to someone. Okay, a few people may give it, but I'm getting the additional respect and additional importance and uh, that one just because of our YouTube channel and the knowledge sharing. So this is, we need to understand that what I need it, what makes me happy and what makes me to grow. So if you find it, so you if you feel that the leadership will make you more happy, it will always give the growth. No, no doubt about that one. Technology may change. Uh, and the opportunities may be different. But if you have a good leadership skills, you are able to manage people, you are able to listen to people and uh, act uh, in a positive way. So it's all, if you are managing people, then you will be survived irrespective of technology revolution or any kind of a thing. That's it about this podcast. Uh, I just mentioned that's why I never received a direct award from SAP or YouTube, but I received plenty of awards indirectly. Today, I'm happy, I'm satisfied, I'm financially settled just because of SAP and YouTube. These two played key role. There are multiple uh, roles like um, uh, even see uh, like what started Asian Paints are given opportunity. Uh, tomorrow, I'm completing my 16 years of uh, uh, total career. So Asian Paints and Hyper Technologies are given me an opportunity to start a SAP career and it has motivated me to do something on my own. Panasonic has changed completely the financial uh, situations because of uh, 6.5 years of um, work in a single company. But initially I joined with uh, Avaisis Consultancy as a contract. Now I'm a permanent employee in Panasonic. Idumi. So there are, uh, at least I can say that 10 things made me uh, happy, satisfied, financially settled, not to think about packages, uh, hike and all. Just learn, learn, invest on my time, invest on me, invest on my skills that will take care about all, rest all things. That's it. Uh, thanks for your time. I hope you got a certain insight and I hope at least few people get inspired to identify your strength, identify your desire identify which makes you happy and satisfied. Do it. You will definitely get what you need. Thanks again. Let's meet with another podcast. Thank you.